Uh, so we're going to be taking Lindsay through uh, Biodex assessment of using for her knee, knee flexion and extension. Okay, depending on the isokinetic machine that you have available to you, uh, it may the setup may be slightly different. For our setup today, we're going to use the crossbody straps that are going to go uh, across her chest to ensure that all the force that she produces is captured by the device and not lost as far as excessive motion. We're by convention going to test the uninvolved uh, knee first, that's going to be her left, and then we'll do her right. Okay, so when setting up the Biodex, you want to ensure that the axis of her knee, that is the, to say the lateral joint line or just around the lateral femoral condyle is in line with the axis of the dynamometer. I encourage you to uh, check out the manual of your isokinetic machine as it will also provide you further detailed specifications as far as the chair angle and setup. Okay, in regards to the length of the, the shank that we're gonna be using, it will be from the axis of the joint line in about approximately one inch, uh, just proximal to the malleoli uh, of the testing limb. So we will uh, guesstimate that she's about 14 inches here and we will proceed. Okay, so we'll move her up. So from the bird's eye view above, that looks pretty good. From the front, that also looks pretty good. Great. Okay, about one inch just north of the malleoli. Great, right at 14. I used to the closest half inch because it's easier to replicate based off the hash marks available to us. With the bottom strap, you don't want to have any slack. Like once again, so that you're capturing all the force that she's able to produce and that there's no wiggle room. Okay, obviously making sure that it's comfortable and safe for your patient. Additionally, you want at least three fingers width behind the back of the knee and the edge of the chair. The final strap goes over the thigh. Again, to prevent any hip flexion or the leg lifting off whilst going through the test. This being said, this one can become a little bit uncomfortable. Lindsay, is that okay for you? Yep. Great. Okay, first things first with the Biodex system, we're gonna go ahead and uh, clear the limits. So we're gonna just tell the machine what Lindsay's knee can do. So we're gonna have Lindsay kick all the way out to her terminal knee extension, make sure that she gets all the way there. We're gonna lock it or hit the hold button, set that. We're gonna bring her all the way back. She's gonna feel a bump, 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 bump at, at, when she maxes it all the way out. She's gonna back off just slightly. Once again, we'll lock her there and set the toward limit. Okay, we'll find the neutral position where the shaft is pointed straight down which orients the machine to 90 degrees of her knee flexion and then we're going to flex her out to just shy of about 45 degrees once again lock instructions key here as people will unintentionally hold some tension within their limb so Lindsay, go ahead and let the leg go loose and limp and we're just going to take a weight okay and then we will continue Okay, the instructions and the verbal cues that you give to the patient, it can influence the result. So I'm gonna go through the standard uh, description each time so that we have the most reliable and valid results for what we're trying to test. If I'm trying to test peak torque, then my verbal cue will be that she's gonna push hard and fast as possible. If I'm trying to do rate of force development, I will have, it will be best done with a rigid 
uh, setup, meaning isometrically done at 60 degrees of knee flexion, where I will use the words, I will need you to push as fast and hard as you can. So it's a reverse, and verbally I stress the word that I'm intending. So with rate, we're caring about speed, so that comes first and is emphasized. In this case, we're doing an isokinetic throughout the arc of motion, and our goals are for peak torque. So it would be as hard and fast as you can. Lindsay, uh, in a moment, I'm gonna hit the start button. That's gonna be able, that's gonna allow you to normalize your knee to the arc of motion, allows us to do any fine tuning as well. Once there, after three, five repetitions, however many you need, you're gonna go ahead and pull your knee back as far as you can. Hold for three seconds, and that's gonna cue the machine to actually start the assessment. During the assessment, it's a max test. So I want you to give your very best effort. All the way out, all the way back. All the way out, all the way back. Any questions? No questions. Okay, it lasts about 20 to 30 seconds. Uh, you may feel fatigued whilst going through it. Just continue to push. Any, you were good? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, here's your practice. Go ahead, all the way out, all the way back. Go all the way out to that mechanical stop. And some patients don't realize that the machine's measuring them in both directions. So you really want to emphasize that you're, it's hard and fast in both directions. Holding onto the handles, making sure you're nice and stable. And whether, whenever you're physically, mentally, and, and psychologically ready, go ahead and pull your heel back and hold it there. Great, and go. All the way out, all the way back. All the way out, all the way back. As hard and fast as you can. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You're doing great. All the way out, all the way back. All the way out, all the way back. Excellent. First set done. Now with your setup protocol, you can determine how much rest the patient gets in between each sets, as well as how many repetitions are performed. In this case, we just did 180 degrees per second. She has a 30 seconds rest period, and then she'll go into the faster speed or 300 degrees per second. That being said, I usually don't talk about the speed to the patient, I just talk about resistance because that makes more sense then. So Lindsay is gonna be less resistance, go ahead, once again, normalize your knee to the resistance that you're pushing and pulling against, all the way out, all the way back. Once you feel like you got a good feel for it, just like you did last time, you're gonna pull that heel back and hold it there. And go, all the way out, all the way back, all the way out, all the way back, as hard and fast as you can. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You're doing great. All the way out, all the way back, all the way out, all the way back. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All the way out, all the way back, all the way out, all the way back, and done. Excellent. Really well done. Okay, at this point, we would then transition, we undo the limb, move Lindsay back, and transition to the other side.